Pearson reports these rebels have a call. Are so good. It's better than good. The rebels have the inside presence and the outside touch, not to mention the ability to fluster the opponent. All 17 so far. We've been pretty confident in our defense. We need, we'd like to get that stronger than, uh, than it is right now. We held every team under 50 points so far, except for Bellevue Marquette. Now, Northeast has a proud basketball history. In fact, they've been to the state finals two years in a row. But when five starters graduated from last year's squad, this group of Rebels knew it was time to get busy. As far as JV, when we were all together the last couple years, we didn't really do the best or as far as record-wise. And we knew we had the talent, but we really hit the gym and paid off this year. We really haven't got a whole lot of recognition this year. Uh, we came in, we placed with five starters, and I think that's kind of the reason we weren't so we're kind of an underdog this year. Good finish. And the Big East Conference is calling their name on the verge of earning the league title. Winning the conference is huge for us. Uh, you know, we've been so close the last few years, and you know, even though we've been to Des Moines, you know, two years in a row, we we haven't been able to to, to win a conference title. And uh, you know, we've always had a couple teams from up Bellevue way that, that stood in our way. And in Goose Lake, Iowa, Dan Pearson, KWQC TV6 Sports. in March has infiltrated from the high school level. And tonight, Comanche's freshman, Shea Meyerman, drilling a three ball here to get things going. Later on, the Indians on the move, deep to Heather Hogue for a pretty finish. But the Rebels make their move. Ashley Sparks, Sparks a nice rally, working hard in traffic for the deuce. Later on, Northeast Carlene Meggers will zone in on the baseline. And Northeast wins this one, 61-43, sending the Rebels on to round two on Saturday. Other these girls have finally made their decision. The Bachelor's not that great of show. The zone is where the heart is. Oh, that is true, uh, love. I love that, hear. ladies. Hmm? And for all they you ladies looking tear. for a man with money, we found a good, a few good men in Goose Lake. Jim all right, Rainer. work it over, boys. Yeah. The Rebels extending <laughs> their lead. Stacy Butt drives and takes it in herself. Northeast leads by 27. More Rebels. Here's the inside toss to Jenna Borman, and she can finish what she starts. The Irish not giving in. This is Katherine Nelson finding her way to the basket and dropping it in. Northeast responding on the fast break. Ashley Sparks Ooh. lights up the fire with a strong layup. How about uh, Northeast? They are just a fine team. They're undefeated. They win it 93 to 39 as the final. Uh, hi, this is Eric and Nathan, the big North Sioux North, Northeast game. And this is TV6 photographer Randy Berry teaches the Cow Drew Weather song. Come on, Randy. That's not really the school song, is it? Beulah, Beulah. Right. Third Beulah. quarter action, Northeast with a big lead and looking for more as Stacy Butt dishes to All Ashley right. Sparks for the bucket. He dated someone named Beulah. The Knights on a comeback. <laughs> Mickey Hamdorf <laughs> hits on the nice the jumper in traffic. <laughs> and the Rebels are rolling as they steal nice the hat. inbounds <laughs> pass. There's Randy back at it again. <laughs> Ashley Sparks with the acrobatics for the hoop. Oh. The Rebels put it away as Butt hits nothing but nylon. From three. Oh, that is a thing oh, of beauty. Wow. Northeast is putting together a Go great season. Beulah, they went six, both posting wins over Comanche today. And on the boys' game, well, the Indians are making the, the move early on, though. That's Adam Birkin going baseline, and he's fouled. But the Rebels rule in this one. Tyler Howe gets free inside for the easy bucket. Later, Northeast works it to Jarrett Mulholland. He knocks it down as the Rebels are pulling away. Later, Marcus. Birkin tracks down the long rebound, and he is going to beat the quarter buzzer. Kevin Enright's Rebels win it 67 to 37 to improve to 13-0. Comanche's girls coach Dave Grimm, fresh off his 100th career win, hoping his squad can rally in the final minute. But Northeast icing away at the stripe. Stephanie Howe putting it down. They're up seven. Comanche's Ashley Steinis sees a little light underneath, and she finishes. But Northeast gets it done from the line. Angie Adrian is true on that one. It's a 63-55 win for Pat Healy's Rebels, who improved to 14-1. Well, things get down. In Eastern and Davenport, firefighters there said a pipe had frozen so severely that it had split. When the pipe thawed, it caused the water to spill into the wall. The water caused minor damage to the wall and carpet. It also temporarily shut down a sprinkler system. Firefighters say this is a common occurrence as the weather changes. You get a call. At 6 p.m., we met those engines, and now Dan Pearson checks out the rebel cause. 
Being the spotlight game for our area Iowa team certainly adds luster to the Friday night atmosphere for the Northeast Rebels. The energy is going to be high, and that's what I think a lot of the players are going to—they're going to feed off of—is the energy that that they know is going to be there. And uh, I think that's really going to help us out, get us pumped up, and get us ready to play. Now the downside to being the only game in town is the fact that every district team will have a scout here on Friday night. But those same scouts will realize that the Rebels have a step on the competition. It will help us immensely. Uh, last year it did. In that first game against Comanche, we didn't capitalize on some turnovers. There were some little tweaks with our offense that we got worked out for that first game, or our second game, normally our first game. But uh, it helped us to uh, get those things ironed out, and we went on a roll in 1-8 straight. I think once we get to week two, three, and so on, we're going to be in mid-season form when everybody else is just getting started, and hopefully we'll catch a few teams off guard. And yes, there is the matter that these Rebels are ready for the long haul. Seven returning starters are back on offense and six on defense. We got pretty much everybody back from last year. We lost a couple good players, but we still got good players to fill their positions. And we got some good players that came up and going to step up this year. And their work ethic shows that they understand that it, it doesn't just happen. You know, because we had success last year, you can't just show up. We got to put in the time. And they've done that this year. And the year starts a week early. In Goose Lake, Dan Pearson, KWQC TV6 Sports. Game. That's right, the Indians and Rebels start a week earlier than most Iowa teams. And starting early in the seat has been no vacation. Oh, now girls, toughen up. It's, you know, the 90s, not all that bad <laughs> yeah. if you have air conditioning. <laughs> and this one will be burning up as Northeast Allen Edwards steps in front of Comanche Pass and takes it back for a hot 20 yards. A few plays later, this game is all Edwards. And Edwards. the Rebels, as he motors around the Comanche D, and into the end zone, Rebels the lead six to nothing. Yeah, it was it was too them. hot for socks. No, too and hot. after a fumble recovery, Northeast hands the ball to Edwards again. He moves five yards to his right. He's in the house. Northeast is up 12-0. Tell you what, Edwards has been on TV more this week than I have. Northeast, your winner. They're thinking big things. They had a great year last year. They win it. The final was 54-2. to And uh, Jordan here has a little bit of PGA trivia for you as well. In high school, Jerry Kelly was an all-star hockey player. Yeah, I wonder if he used a three-wood on the hockey ring. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Northeast band getting the crowd drummed up for a victory tonight. Rebels Lucas Deaver. Is that Deaver? Yeah. Launches it to Dan Weiss, who lands right down in the living room. Another one. Everyone's coming to visit tonight. Rebels getting extra rowdy. Alan Edward tees off for the first score of the night. 7-0 Rebels. And there he goes. Works his way. See ya. East Central wishing it took a mulligan on this play. <laughs> Rebels John Gregg picks up the loose ball. East Central finds themselves down 21-0. Sand Trap Edward chips it in from five yards. Third score of the quarter. That's Northeast good. to winner 49 to nothing. Preston shut out Bellevue. Four Finals that start off in Class 2A over at Prairie High School, Albernet and Northeast Goose Lake, and both teams came out bombs away. Kevin Miller and Nathan Johnson trade triplets, and this game went back and forth. Dave Walters with a nice looking drive here for Albernet for the kiss off the glass. Northeast Goose Lake answers with the steal and Jared Mulholland is all alone for the layup. And then check out the nice one handed bouncer from Marcus Birkin to Mulholland for two more and Northeast Goose Lake is headed to state with the 55 38 win. At Kennedy tonight class 1A Dunkerton and Bellevue Marquette and this game was a wild one up and down the court. The tip in by the Mohawks and a little time to rest. Here come the Raiders and Dale Schultz with the layup. And this might be the biggest fan I've ever seen. He's about 7-2. But Marquette pulled away in the second half. Check out the feed from Derek Meyer to big Mike Kilberg. And you don't think they love their hoops in Bellevue? Whole town was at Kennedy tonight. <laughs> and somehow this baby slept through it all. Check out Derek Meyer with the spinning deuce. Bellevue Marquette is headed back to state with the 70-56 win. Northeast with a long two-pointer. Goose Lake led by eight after three in the fourth. The Rebels' Bethany Mommins is giving her team a nine-point lead. Later, the Rebels' Angie Arian, Adrian finds Mommins again. All smiles for Northeast Goose Lake tonight as the Rebels with a Rebel yell, yell win it 47-34. They played Mid-Prairie Saturday night for a ticket to state. In Class 1A, fourth-ranked Bellevue Marquette into the night. Three. Runner up, Wapsie Valley. Her Northeast working with an eight point lead. Jared Mulholland with the floater. 
At the other end, Bellevue's Josh Keeter drives the baseline and finishes. Later, it's the Rebels' Marcus Birkin right in front of the TV9 cam. And it's nothing but nylon. Bellevue rallies to win at 59-55. And possibly the game of the night was played in Des Moines. Corey Cuffler previews the Rebels with a cause. The goals were set early in the season, and the Northeast seniors made sure everyone stayed on track. This is a team unity. We're all playing really well together and just all stepping up when we have to. We feed off each other and you know how each other do. And you know, if somebody's off one night, the other person will pick it up. And you know, this team works so well as a, as, as a group. And experience will serve the Rebels, making their fifth trip in school history and second straight to Des Moines. This team has, has played extremely well in, in the. Uh, in the post-tournament play, and and uh, uh, you know they deserve to be there. They they they've beaten some quality teams, and we're very pleased to be there. But but like you said, we have some unfinished business. Northeast is ready to go west to Des Moines, and while the Rebels are still looking for their first win at state, facing defending 2A state champ Sioux Center will be a challenge. That'd be great to get our first win of the season. Maybe we can win some more games out there. But main focus is the first game, and then. We go from there. We want to show people that we can win one out there. Northeast program out there is 0-4. And I think this would mean a lot to us to be the first team to get a win out there and play South Concern. In Clinton, Corey Cuffler, KWQC, TV6 Sports. Gary Me TVA had a small part in Tom Hanks' movie, The Punchline. Yes, that's a fact. He also did some stunt work in Turner and Hooch. Yeah. Yeah. Such a small part, I was uh, extra clapping in punch. Line. Excellent. Hey, you got it, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Northeast on the march early. Nathan Needblum rolls out, connects with Timon Brooks for a gain of 15 yards here. Look at this one. Boom. Baby blue. Later in the drive. Yeah. Needblum still nice going. Play. Sneaks in from the one yard line here coming up for the touchdown. 6 0 Rebels. Rebel oh, march will here. continue. These guys are all ready for it. This guy again, Neblum gives to Cole Loiters for a gain of 28 yards around the left end. Loiters is tough. Oh, my. That's a barrel. Oh, man. Oh, get out of the command's way. defense like tough it. tonight. They stand tall. Luke Drennan comes in and delivers this very big Sacarillo. Mm. He goes down, but it is Northeast winning this one. They pitch the shutout. The final's in in that one. It was 12 0 Northeast in that game. 786-377. 35 looking for more. Nathan Neblung throws it out to Brad Peterson to pick up a Rebel first down. A lot of big guys, a lot of good collisions. Later in the drive, Neblung again goes to the air. Marcus Winkler gladly receives the pass for another first down yardage right there. Northeast goes to the ground game. Cole Luters gets in on the egg. Yes, you're pumped. Thumbs up. He trucks down to the one-yard line with some great blocking there. He wants to get into the end zone, and he finishes the drive. Luters is going to bash in from the one. The girls are loving it. Get in the end zone. That's a touchdown, and Northeast is your winner. 45-0. Tipped Make the next pass. Travis Moore underneath with the easy bucket. I don't know if Gene Hackman would approve of this. The pass off the inbounds and nail on the three from the corner. I know he wouldn't. Trevor Clepp from the around. corner. Time and Brooks showing you why you play on both ends of the court. Getting the rebound. Nice. Driving down the basket. Mm, with a kiss. Mm. The Rebels running over this place. Up big. There's a there's my fan club going nuts out there in Goose Lake. <laughs> Rebels pulling away, but through uh, <laughs> the <seat>. North Cedar <laughs> keeps it close. Pretty pick and roll. That's Alex Dittmer to Brad Copas. Who won the game, uh, game Dan? Northeastern winner, 51 to 36. Pressing over Comanche, 45 to. The Coms doing it with the defense. Chase Medinger gets a great block underneath coming up. And Boy, then you get the loose there, ball huh? there Oof. by uh, Tim and Brooks. It's mm -hmm. an easy two. Rebels increasing the lead this time from downtown Goose Lake. I've been there. It's a beautiful spot. Yes. That's I Dylan Dietrich. Bellevue not backing down there, showing some grit. Here's Chris Hanke ripping away from the pack, taking it, and he scores the bucket. The Northeast is ranked for a reason. It's Brooks again, and check out this move here oh, as he spins it in. The backboard is your friend. Yeah, you've been in uh, Goose Lake. You could, you could oh. run from air and win it there, yeah, man. Yeah, Northeast, your winner Lake. over Bellevue. We've got my own Highlight Zone promo, but TJ here is one great student. In addition to being a good teenager and a good student, he's also involved in Northeast football. And Ross, I think I could have made that shot. Woo! Ross is so oh. sad. He misses it every time. Oh, Third stand to action. Trojans trail by one, but Wendy Anderson drops the ball in for three right there. Yeah. Preston Ross leads. all over. 31-29. Northeast rallies back with Marie Gordon getting the home cooking bounce, and the Rebels sees a two-point advantage. There it is. 
Seesaw game continues. The Trojans' Christina Schmidt gets inside for two more. Here they angle. go. I like that. Preston takes a one point lead. Ross is all That's over good. it. Maybe not get the shots. You can't hit the bucket, but you get the yeah. shots. Hey, well, under 30 seconds, Northeast Jessica Livens all alone under the basket. Ooh. Puts the game on ice with the jumper. Yeah, Northeast won. Northeast sets the tone early with Nathan LeBlanc from three land, putting the Rebels up by three. Later in the stands of Northeast with the ball again, and it's LeBlanc dialing long distance. Ooh. He wow. got it, and he extends the Rebel lead. Northeast Preston, clearly has the best shoes in the zone. I, I can't yeah. see their shoes because I'm reading, but mm. Preston aids its own cause. Mitch Peter Peterson ahead in the fast break to put in the oh, layup with three. I want to see the shoe. Hot or blue. There they are. Oh, I see commented on those last 51-44, Northeast won that one. They're Lovely. still undefeated. Lovely. Team in 1A, Bellevue Marquette. Northeast jumps out to the early four-point lead. Check out Travis Moore. Give me some more from three-point range. Bellevue Marquette ties it up, though. Colin Kilberg finds future UNI Panther Jordan Egglesleder for two of his game-high 33 points. And then Egglesleder showing he can dish the rock as well, hitting Alex Eyeshot on the give-and-go. But Northeast still led by seven at halftime. Northeast extending the lead to 12. Super soft. Dylan Diedrich's big shot over the seven-footer. And then Diedrich is going to bury this three from the corner. He finished with 27 points. Northeast Goose Lake with the big win tonight, 66-61. Also tonight, fifth rank in U High. And the gang have it all from the hardwoods coming up. See it to the south, the last In the year 2007, the Bears' first win won't come until September. Sadly, the Cubs won't go into the victory column until September either. Prince Olin at Northeast, second half action, and the Rebels are leading big. And Dylan Dietrich keeps it that way, oh, knocks down the tray to inch Amazing. closer to the school's all-time all yeah. scoring record. Lions keep coming. Dan Ingles gets the shot to fall to keep Olin's hopes alive. But tonight is Dietrich's night. He buries the three from the corner to break the school record for points scored in a career. But he was not the Rebel to dial long distance as Lance Adrian finds friendly rates in Goose Lake as the Rebels cap a very historic night tonight. All right, the scores we got on that one. Northeast won that one. The final was 60-31. to 31. Bell Derek Turner hits that basket from the lane. Northeast goes on a run to seal it, though. Dylan Dietrich, he's going to go behind wow, the back toss. Pretty. Mike Lorenzen hits the three to close a seven on Spur. Preston won't go away, though. Peyton Hemley puts it in the bucket and pulls within four. Boom! Oh, nice There's shot. a big one. Northeast holds the final say as Lorenzen sinks the jumper to seal the deal for the Rebels tonight. Big win for them at home. They take it 52 to 47. And now it's Bellevue. Notice how he introduces the tractor first. Basketball, the Lady Knights play tomorrow night in Muscatine. The Assumption Boys team played tonight at Goose Lake. Let's get to that one. And yeah, we got people cheering on the Rebels as they're ready for action tonight in this barn burner with Assumption Northeast. Nick Moore for three. And the Rebels with a 24-17 second quarter lead. Assumption coming right back. A.J. Ewan, he hits a three. And the Rebels up 29-25 at the half. Third quarter, Dylan Diedrich. Oh, Dylan Diedrich doing his thing. There he goes for a layup. Dylan Diedrich, what are you going to do this time? He's coming in. Oh, what's to talk about? A tough shot. That one is. And then the Assumption Knights are all over Dylan Diedrich, and it still falls in. The Rebels built a 10-point lead, but the Knights come storming back. Kyle Steinbrecher hits the three. Assumption down five. Dylan Diedrich not going to stop shooting the ball. Why would he? He hits another three, and the Rebels up 42-37 after three. Fourth quarter, Kyle Steinbrecher to Chris Kolar, and it's a one-point game. Northeast up 49-48, but Diedrich and company would close it out at the free throw line. Northeast moving on. They win it 58-51. It means a lot coming in here and playing against some of the better teams like the MAC teams. and really feels like a great feeling. We just got to keep playing together and uh, play as a team and just keep shooting it well. And we're trying to live up to expectations that Northeast always has. I mean, we went to state last year and we're trying to repeat again, but we know we got a tough road and Assumption's a great team and they gave us all we could handle. What does it say about the little Big East Conference taking down a big Mac powerhouse? You hear a lot of stuff about the Big East and how we can't compete with the bigger schools, so it was great. Kevin the penetration, and he will go to the line. Took on Northeast Goose Lake. The Spartans is one of the top shooters in the state, and Matt Leeson, and he connects from behind the arc, and then Solon works the ball inside to Michael May for the nice duck under move. 
And the Spartans only trailed by two at the half, but it was all Northeast Goose Lake in the second half. Mike Lorenzen, basket hanging for the easy deuce. And then Dylan Dietrich went off. You better guard him. Dietrich with three of his game high, 32. And Northeast Goose Lake is headed to state, beating Solon 75 to 57. Uh, it means a lot. I mean, this is our fourth year, and fourth out of five, fifth year, and uh, that we've gone to state now. And uh, we just learned how to win. We learned how to win in districts, and uh, we struggled a little bit through the season, but when the districts come around, we're always ready to play. I know a good barber, sub state semifinal.